Hello. So we got the Bullet R1 from AOEO. I uh, just got it delivered a couple days ago. I'm super pumped to get it open. Uh, so let's get in it. Get out the scissors. It really is like opening up a present. Whenever you get in these new things, you always just get so excited to open it up. Throw it on the ground, man. This is really exciting. <laughs> First, we can see it's uh, well packed, lots of protection and everything, so that's really good to see in a very expensive little roaster. Even though it's not that expensive in terms of uh, high quality stuff, it's still really nice to see that for the prosumer side of it, they at least take care of their stuff. So that's really nice. Came off nice. Look at this beautiful jet black. Well, let's see if I can take this out without uh, blowing anything up. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Well, there she is. So that's this part of the system. That's her main body. cooling tray as well. So it's nice to see what we have in here. I'll open this up. So it's got the stainless steel catcher for the beans, which is very nice. Good job too. Just pretty nice quality. Nice metal too, not like super cheap. Then we have the fan in there for the cooling. that little one right there and no I did not know if that was supposed to come off right away that it did I thought I broke it for a second so that's gonna go right there uh, more than likely that's gonna have a plug in it. yeah on the side right here so you see it's three pins and it's one two three just fits really nicely. I like doing. I like having these kind of plugs. I'm an I'm an industrial electrician mainly. Um, I know that these plugs are used in a lot of industrial sector stuff for good purpose because they're really really well made and they stay in regardless. All right. Now let's see what was in this red bag. power cord. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> what do we got? 14 gauge by 3. So it's 14.3 uh, SOW. So it's uh, hot, neutral, brown. Obviously just a regular plug for like a computer. But it's a bit thicker obviously because it's also covering something a lot more than just the computer here. Let's see what else we got here. Put this bit all right we've got the filter that's actually going to be going here from the pictures i've seen it's going to be going right before the fan so that no chafe or anything gets in there mm. yes i've heard the stories about this they give you two usb leds because apparently they were having issues with these things blowing up, which <laughs> is always nice to know. But the fact is, at least they give you two, and they, they're improving on it, which is really nice. And this is the trier. So we have a little screw. It's going to be fit in here. And then we have those scissors. And 
that is the trier. You see it's machined out of aluminum, which is uh, pretty cool. Now this thing's itty bitty compared to the real big roasters, but I mean, what else is expected, right? It's, uh, again, like what I like to say is at least everything is on a miniature scale, but that's what you're paying for. You know what I mean? It's uh, decent quality wood here. Nice. That'll fit in there. When you want to try it, it catches the beans. And when you don't want to try it, it's face her down. All right, what else we got? This is really like open up birthday presents, man. This thing's awesome. Okay, so we also have this, which don't scratch anything. This is the handle for the door. Ooh, my goodness. That actually feels like steel. It does not feel like aluminum. That's quite heavy. That is a good, well-made part. Wow. Yeah, that's, and then they put the, uh, like an anodized uh, finish on there. A really nice dark finish. That's really nice. Uh, nice. I don't know if you can get good lighting on it or not. And then that would be compared to what a stainless finish looks like. Uh, Get a nice dark finish. And we have the dime bag, which I know nothing about. I'm not lying. Uh, all right. So let's see how would this fit. Well, they even give instructions. <gasps> so this stuff is, from what I understand, it's uh, designed in Denmark. Thank God it wasn't. Um, Sweden, because it's definitely better than IKEA instructions. <laughs> they actually have full-on instructions, which is uh, quite good. And they give three shims. So yeah, we're gonna have the spacer, which is our classic portion. That guy's gonna be coming here. Let's see if it's gonna come up like this. And then. that part yeah it looks like it's gonna be threading into this oops I knew how to use a oh yeah it's it's catching the threads of course not and that's always a good thing but I will try it this way first I'll try it the other way around Oh, that's much easier. Now, my only thought and curiosity is why on earth they would have the trier and the door handle on the same side, because that just seems rather inefficient. I know it's not a German thing, but you know, it's still rather inefficient. Could have, well, I guess they couldn't have put it on that side. The trier, they could have. Oh well, not a big deal. I promise I'm not picky. Spacer. And essentially, the spacer is just going to make sure that the heat isn't really traveling up this knob. Um, even though it's only like a nylon, nylon plastic one, um, just got to make sure that the thread is all the way through. That's it. So that's the lever. It'd be really cool had they put uh, some sort of catch, <clears throat> whether it was like a hook, that would have been, that would be the cheap way. But maybe I might even, I don't know, attach some rare earth magnets or something over here, just so it'll catch and stay open. Cause that would be kind of annoying having to keep a hand here cause all the heat's gonna escape and burn you up. Possibly at least. And then we have the cap. Yes, yeah, so this cap is for replacing when you got the funnel. So what happens is you're gonna be preheating this. Uh, once it's at your preheat temp, see how it's got an angled slope? 
you basically match it up with this angle slope and it just sits in there then you're gonna pour the beans in once you're done put the stopper in and that's just gonna help keep the heat in as opposed to letting it radiate out of this and I think that's it oh um, one thing I wanted to show because this is so cool for a little prosumer machine for everything to be included you just clean up. If you look under here, <clears throat> right underneath, we have a little USB. Now that is where the little light goes. So it would be, of course, it's never the way you, you would want it. Ugh, there we go. Okay. And then that would shine in and you would have yourself a working little light. Now, I'm not sure if I'd be able to plug this in right now just to see the light working and everything. Um, but why not, right? Let's see what we do. If I'm not mistaken from the pictures, it was on this side, the power, yep, there it is. And there she is, in all her glory. Look at that. The bullet is now ready. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's got a voice? That I did not know. That's incredible. Well, I've officially dubbed Maria. This is my little Maria. She's gonna be doing a lot of good things for us, so. Thank you, Maria, for telling me you're ready to go. But anyway, so you see how the light goes in? Now, again, that's such a bad design. Such a bad design. Um, like, was that not thought out? Well, it'd be nice if they even had a cap for that, at least, so that when you're ready, it'll open up. But you can see how the LED, especially it's got a little bendy, like a bendy straw sort of video. You can get right up in there, especially with the glass. I don't know if you can see that. Looks really good. There's one thing I wanted to show as well, because uh, I was really excited about this, because this was one of the recent changes, was the traffic collection uh, weight. So this portion here is actually removable. And this part here is where they actually give you the prints for the 3D uh, printer and they tell you to use, I think it's ABS um, or high temp plastic, right? Resin. Uh, and it would have that little exhaust port here and then you can stick your aluminum hose or whatever the case is. But in order to, uh, to take your chaff out whenever you're, say, done a roast, couple roasts, whatever it is, it's got a little flap here. And it's kind of nice because it's a, the way it works, it gets sucked through here and then because of the cylindrical shape, it doesn't really get sticky on the inside. Everything should come down pretty easily. But this was the new change. So this little tab here, it's kind of like a key. So it pulls out, okay, and out comes the tray. Now, this was one of the most recent changes. What I love about Bullet and the Alio guys is that um, they recently just changed the size of this in order uh, from the feedback that they've been getting. And that's something that's really cool about this company is that they really uh, deal with the customers um, and they really listen. They don't just make a product and say, suck it up, you know. It's not like, uh, it's not like Apple or something <laughs> where they just say, you know, here's your box, stay in your box. Um, so what happens is by the process of it comes through the exhaust port of the actual drum comes through here it gets blown into here this portion here because it sits like that then the air is drawn through the filter into your fan to your squirrel cage and then it gets shot out so if there's ever an issue where you need to clean it 
this little guy will actually come right out along with the plastic housing apparently so that you can clean everything in there if that's what you really need um, obviously it's always good to clean your stuff every now and then and then oh. anyways got that and that's your port right there now what's also cool is I don't know if the lighting is good enough here, maybe we have to come in a little. Is that these little belts here are completely replaceable. Everything here is made so that you can really work on your own unit. Um, and what's really good about that is for people like me who are good with their hands and, uh, and people who know how to watch YouTube videos, <laughs> uh, you can basically fix anything uh, by just watching instructions. And the community for the bullet is really good. Uh, they have their own Facebook page and everyone is really uh, goes into in-depth, whether it's uh, through profiles that this machine does, uh, whether it's um, like maintenance sort of issues or pro other problems they have, or even just uh, helping each other out with whatever the case is. It's a really good community that they have. Um, but you can pretty much replace almost anything on this machine without having too, too much of an issue. So those spacers that we actually had, I was remembering because the, uh, the video um, that I watched a couple weeks ago, these are actually spacers that can fit back here or can fit in here. Not 100% sure, I don't quite remember the video, but what that's for is sometimes what people were experiencing um, was a problem where the drum was actually scratching along the front casing or that beans were actually getting caught inside and they were getting caught right in here. And the problem is that the spacing wasn't quite right where the drum wasn't pushed quite far enough against this cover here. So what they decided to do is start shipping with uh, extra spacers just in case that you start coming into that problem. So again, this machine is uh, its really well um, it's really well designed in order to do your own sort of maintenance on it. Uh, and as you can see, I am proud owner number 593. So it's obviously got a good fit on there, which is a very positive thing. Twenty minutes later. All right. So the rubber's in. That's your seal. That seal is going to be coming right up against this to make sure that the only thing that comes through is air. So in order to put it back on again, you pull the tab. You can see the locking mechanism. Oh. That's something else I forgot. So that lock locks it in with these pins here. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the offset angle here. And then if you ever need to take it out, say you wanna, I don't know, just actually scrub it clean with like a, a sponge or something. These are your screws, okay? So little screws. And the reason they look like this and not regular screws is because they sit in these holes right there to help make sure everything's lined up. So again, they really did a good job at, uh, at designing this so that everything is with the least amount of uh, problems as possible and most efficient as possible. But yeah. Then it locks in. Okay, so my friend here just became a genius or very I don't know what it is, but check this out. Remember how I was complaining about this being so dumb? Well, okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention is that we have here uh, the starter box, right? The quick start. So all this is basically like what's in the box and then getting ready, your seasoning for it. And then what happens if you have uh, like a little problem with the grinding sounds, right? And that would be um, for those spacers that we talked about earlier. Now, 
Obviously, this isn't quite a lot for something as complicated as Maria, but uh, on their site, alio.com, I'll put the link in the description, uh, you can download the manual. It's an online manual. You have the roast time software, USB drivers for this so that you can connect to your computer to control those roast profiles, as well as the exhaust adapter 3D files. So they actually give you the 3D files, and what those are for is so that here in the exhaust port, when you get the smoke that's coming out, which is very little, but still there's smoke, um, it's just an adapter. So it's some, something very similar to a funnel, except that it fits this hole specifically. We give the full STL files there, and it gives you uh, the different sizes. So it'll give you for a three inch pipe, four inch pipe. Um, because it's a European country uh, that designed it the proper way in metric, uh, <laughs> they have the 100 mil, 300 mil, that sort of thing. Um, again, the community has these as well. Uh, if you ever, if someone ever uh, changes them or alters them or whatever and they want to share it, most of the time they do share. It's a really good community. So that's it. I think I've covered just about everything. As you see everything there, and then we got the funnel and then the spare light because who knows if that one's gonna wig out on us or melt possibly because that's a thing <laughs> from what I've heard. Uh, that's it. This is the Bullet R1 from Alio or uh, Ilio or A-I-L-L-I-O <laughs> dot com. Uh, I'm pumped to use this. Anyways, thanks.